Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Sachiv Nanda and uh, this is my third visit to the Gen X production facility and uh, this time uh, we thought that we'd record a small video uh, to show you the efforts taken by the company here to assuring you the best quality product. Um, as you can see behind, we have the latest uh, CNC machines. Uh, we will later have a tour of the sterile and the quality control procedures done by this company to assure you the most high quality of implants. There is a very detailed uh, quality control system. They are checking the measurements and the dimensions and uh, tolerances up to four decimals beyond the zero. There are three or four times during the various stages of the production that they will check these measurements. So after production, after sandblasting, before sterilization, so that even during the entire process, if anything has been damaged or altered on the implant, it is monitored and it is taken off the production line. Uh, it was almost, uh, they have a high standard of quality systems in place with the various ISO certifications. They have the highest standard of clean rooms. There's a clean room six, the clean room seven. Uh, we will have a tour of this facility later. Uh, and uh, I hope you will enjoy this. All right, so this is how the implant manufacturing starts. This is your titanium store. They have titanium grade five of a very high quality from an American company. Uh, you have different diameters and these are then fed into these CNC machines which are then milled into various parts. So this is one of the five CNC machines that they have here. It has an auto loader system. You can load up to, I don't know, a couple of bars in there and the machine will feed itself automatically. This is a fully automatic machine with high precision control and it can produce, I believe, up to 20,000 screws. Uh, it's a very high speed machine and they're continuously adjusting the tolerances of the drills, checking the precision of the attachments so that even the milling is very, very precise. After the uh, screws come off the production line, uh, the person, the engineer here will now put them under a microscope and he will examine every single screw to make sure it meets the conformity. They are given, they are given a document here which has the drawings and they must make various measurements and checks and ticks and only once it is approved from here will it go into the next process. So this is a little bit more about the milling process itself. They use a very special organic oil because they believe that this is more easy to get off the implant in the cleaning and the debridement process. Uh, most companies I believe are using synthetic oils which will then form a layer onto the implant surface which is very difficult to clean. So here you can see in the machining process uh, it's a very high speed process with a lot of oiling and a lot of lubrication. From all the production parts, uh, there is a certain selection, random selection of the parts according to a particular number and then they are put into this special machine. There is a laser that scans each uh, part of the surface. It then creates an outline and there are various parameters that are measured up to four decimals. So this is how you get uh, pinpoint accuracy on the implants. So uh, this is an automated uh, sandblasting machine. This is the first step from where the surface treatment will start. Unlike uh, a lot of companies that will do it via a hand, this is completely automated. They have a jig into which the implant, a single implant is placed inside. They use uh, hydroxyapatite as the blasting, resolvable blasting medium. And there are a pressurized pre-positioned automatic jets and the table will take a few rotations for about one minute and there will be an automatic sandblasting of the process. So you can be assured that every implant surface is uh, sandblasted to the same optimal quality. So you can have a look. Point where the implant is mounted and those are the automatic, automated jets and then this table will take a couple of turns for the duration of about a minute and uh, they will evenly sandblast the surface. After examined to make sure that it is blasted appropriately if not, it is either repeated um, or, or it can be altered. Good. So maybe you can just come here and try to mount the... Uh, so uh, after the sand blasting, now we are here at the washing and the cleaning, the, one of the final phases of cleaning of the implant. And for this, I would like to introduce Dr. Durek. He is a specialist when it comes to the cleanliness of implant surfaces. And he would tell us a little bit more about his work and what he feels about our implant surface. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was uh, addressed from the company to check the implants and um, I did it within SEM and elemental analysis. So what we could find in this specific implant that is completely clean and there's 
no uh, inorganic or organic remnants. So uh, if you want to know more about it, go on the website, it's www.cleanimplant.com. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. All right. Perfect. I think that was perfect. So once the cleaning uh, process is over, then finally it's time to move the implant into the clean room. This machine behind us is a specially designed machine just for that. There are special solutions that will wash this implant for about an hour. Then the implant is rinsed with sterile water for one hour after that. And then it will be like an autoclave. It will take it up to 120 degrees for an hour. Once this is done, there is a pass box. So basically the implants will open up into the other side and the other side is inside the clean room, which now we will see. So we have here... Oh, okay. you are lucky today. Oh. There is a jelly thing. Yeah, this is the jelly mm -hmm. really yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Now, you can be, believe me that it's not touching, it's not damaging, we're not touching that with the hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take one implant with a forceps, then take a blister, with a forceps put this inside, click it with the forceps, then put it here. Anything, click it, then close it and it's pressed. Mm -hmm. Press during the two seconds with uh, 120 temperature with uh, a very high pressure, 7 newtons pressure. So after that, it's isolated, so it's going for the waiting area for the next process. Yeah.